uh, it is on the fifth section of uh, Darshan Upanishad and in this uh, section uh, discussions prevail around Nadi Sodhana, purification of uh, Nadis. Now Sankruti, the disciple says, Samyak Kathayame Brahman Nadi Suddhim Samasataha Jaya Suddhya Sadadhyayan Jivan Mukto Bhavamyaham. Now for Jivan Mukti, Dhyana is necessary, meditation is necessary because Sravana Manana Nididhyasana is the process. But unless our nadis are pure, the realizations may not arise accurate. Therefore, Sankruti requests to know the process of purification of nadis. Is that the of no, 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 not them. Because uh, uh, the purity or impurity of nadis all depend on the movement of air inside them. This is a this is a kind of physical purification, you can say. Physical purification. Because we are now whatever we are discussing, all are physical things, mm -hmm. these nadis, etc. Therefore, it's, uh, their purifications would be definitely physical. Wow. This is a, wow. uh, uh, kama, Krodha, Lobha, Moha, etc. They could be mental. mental. But, uh, yeah. physical or Vatapita Kapha? Now, Vatapita Kapha may come, but they are also not here. Hmm. Now, what, uh, what he says here through the drawing of particular air hmm. inside the Nadi and through the employment of particular Vija Mantra and through meditation of a particular type on a particular portion of body, this purification is effected. Therefore, uh, it has a special importance among the yogis. Nadi Shodhan. Uh, by the prana, mostly by the prana. Not other air, mostly by the pranas. Now let us go uh, and see how they are uh, desiring to purify it and mostly by prana actually. But Vija Mantra, Prayoga and uh, concentration on particular place of nadis, conjunctions of nadis, they are also there. Through that only they uh, try to purify. Now Dattatre answers, Sankrute Sunu Bhakshami Nadi Suddhim Samasataha Vidyukta karma sanjukta kama sankalpa varjita. Now, vidhyukta karma sanjukta. Vidhina ukta vidhyukta means whatever is prescribed as a law or a principle, we have to follow that for purification. And uh, therefore, that kind of activity are to be adopted. Vidyukta karma sanjukta. Kama Sankalpa Varjita, for purification of all, all Nadis, we have to forsake our bad desires, negative desires. Therefore, Kama Sankalpa Varjita. Jamadi Ostanga Sanjukta, a person who wishes his purification of Nadis. Now, what he is, that is being described. Jamadi Ostanga Sanjukta, Jamadi Ostanga Sanjukta. Shanta, he is Shanta, not agitated. Satya Parayana, follower of truth. Swatmani Avasthita, means Atma Rama, does not wish to draw pleasure from outside sources. That kind of personality, Swatmani Avasthita. Samyak Jnani Vishcha, Samyak Susikhita, Samyak Jnani Vishcha, Susikhita, Swatmani Avasthita samyak jnani vishcha susikhita. Now, he is also trained by the people 
who are uh, experts in the field. Parvatagre Naditire Billo Mule Bane Athava Bane Thava Manorame Sucho Dese Matam Krutva Samahita. Now he chooses a place at the top of a hill or on the bank of a river, or if uh, anything, these things are not available, or forest, if these things are not available, he can get a billow tree, under that tree also he can uh, build his seat, matha, manorame suchau dese, a pure area, not uh, uh, actually uh, negatively used by bad people. The area should be, should not be charged with negativity, that is the meaning. So, manorame, manorame means beautiful, suchau, pavitra, dese, matham krutva, asthanam krutva, building his seat, matha can be the houses for these practices spiritual practices. Arabhya chasanang paschat prangmukha udangmukho piva. First of all, he would uh, practice asanas. Some 14 asanas are prescribed here, many other asanas are there. He should uh, perform them. Then prangmukha udangmukho piva. Either he should face the east or north, udangmukha, north. Samagriva siraha kaya samrutasya sunishchala. He should sit straight with his uh, uh, neck, head, and other parts of body in a single line. Samrutasya with closed mouth and sunishchala without any movement. Then, what should he do then after sitting like this? Nasagre sasabrud bimbe bindu madhye turi yakam srabantam amrutam pasyat netrabhyam su samahita with deep meditation su samahita he should see something what is that nasagre sasabrud bimbe he will see the on the tip of his nose there is sasabhrut bimba, means chandra bimba, sasabhrut, sasam bivarti iti sasabhrut, means sasa is uh, that rabbit, rabbit is there in the body of uh, uh, moon, so moon is called sasabhrut, sasabhrut bimba, means chandra bimba. So, he has to imagine on the tip of his nose a chandra bimba, bindu madhye turi yakam, and again there also a bindu is there and uh, turiyakam sam, srabantam amritam pasyat. Now, this turiyaka is a kind of transcendental thing and turiyakam amritam srabantam amritam pasyat. He should uh, see in his uh, uh, imagination rather in meditation that uh, from that chandra bimba from the bindu of that chandra bimba, bimba there is uh, amritas, transcendental amrita, rather nectars or ambrosia, they are trickling down, falling down. So, that kind of uh, uh, picture he should see in the mind. Idaya pranam akrusya purayet udarasthitam. Now, through Ida, he has to draw his pranabayu and put it in udara, in the belly. How can it be possible? Then uh, uh, actually yogis do it naturally, but we people are not accustomed, so we have to close the pingala and draw bayu through ida. We do it forcefully, because a physical force we apply to close a part and uh, use another part. Uh, however, idaya pranam akrusya puraitva udarasthitam Tato agnim deha madhyastham dhyayan jwala bali jutam. Tataha. After that, we have to meditate upon a fire which has a collection of flames. Jwala bali jutam. Ended with many flames. 
such kind of uh, fire we have to uh, meditate upon tato agnim deha madhyastham dhyayan jwala vali jutam and again what should be done bindu nada samajuktam agni bijam vichintayet now there are two things which are equal to param brahma and they are nada and bindu they are part of this pranava and both bindu and nada they are connected and he will uh, meditate upon this and again with agni bija agni bija is rang 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 is agni bija and he has to meditate upon rang rang agni bija this rang which is endowed with both bindu and nada पश्चात विरचयत सम्यक प्राणम पिंगलया बुदह नाउ द प्राण वायु इज इन उदर इन द बेली ही हैज टू ब्रिंग इट आउट थ्रू पिंगला नाउ ही ड्रू इट इन थ्रू ईडा एंड ही विल ब्रिंग इट आउट आफ्टर मेडिटेटिंग इन दिस वे ही हैज टू थ्रो द एयर आउट थ्रू पिंगला नाउ पुनः पिंगलया पूर्ज बन्नीबीजम अनुस्मृत सिमिलरली थ्रू पिंगला ही विल ड्रॉ इन ऑल दिस प्राण वायु एंड बन्नीबीज विल बी रिमेम्बर्ड अगेन विथ नाद एंड बिंदु पुनर्विरचयद धीमान इडेब सन सन पुनर्विरेचयद धीमान इडेब सन सन सो ना Slowly and slowly, he will make a bridge, you know, extrication of those bayu through uh, ida. Three chatur basaram chatha, three chatur baram eva cha. Satkruto virach vicharen nityam rahasyam trisandhisu. How many times he should do? Three chatur basaram, three four days, not more. थ्री चतुर बार मे वच थ्री फोर टाइम्स हि हाज टू डू इट सत्कृत्व विचरेन नित्यम रहस्य त्रिसंधिषु देर आर थ्री संध्या इन ए डे मर्णिंग मिड डे एंड इवनिंग एंड इन दिस थ्री संध्या सत्कृत्व सिक्स टाइम्स हि विल आडप्ट दिस रोटेसन ड्रईंग थ्रू इडा एंड थ्रोईंग out of pingala drawing through pingala and throwing out of ida with this kind of meditation then it is one similarly six times he will do on each sandhya in the morning in the midday and in the evening and uh, if he does it then there is the possibility of purification of uh, nadis now how can he know that his nadis are pure okay he did it but how can you know what is the proof now dattatreya gives the proofs if you see these these symbols signs then you will know that uh, your activity is complete and successful what is that nadi suddhi chinhani nadi suddhi mavapnoti prutak prutak chinho pa lakhita prutak chinhe na upalakhita separate separate signs are marked फर नाड़ी शुद्धि शरीर लघुता पर्सन्स बॉडी बिकम्स लाइट हिज वेट कम्स डाउन दीप्ति बर्ने जाठर बर्तिन जाठर बर्तिन बर्ने हे दीप्ति मीन्स देर इज दीप्ति इन द जाठर अग्नि मीन्स हि विल गेट मोर डिजायर टू इट हंगर विल ग्रो इट मीन्स हंगर विल ग्रो जाठर बर्तिन बने हे दीप्ति सो इट बिकम्स मोर ग्रोईंग जाठर अग्नि नादाभिव्यक्ति रीत चिन्ह तत्सिद्धि सूचक देन हि विल हियर ए नाद कन्स्टाटली हि विल हियर ए नाद इन हिज इयर जावदेता संपत्स्यत 
tavadevam samacharit. Practice this purification, process of purification till you get these symbols or chinnas, signs. Swatma suddhi. Atma suddhi or purification of the self is more important than the nadi suddhi, purification of nadis. Therefore, there is alternative. Leave aside the nadi suddhi. That is also not required if you pursue atma suddhi. Then what is that atma suddhi? Athei vaitat parityajya swatma suddhim samacharet. Leave it aside, you didn't get any sign that your process is successful. Okay, leave it aside. Then follow atma suddhi. Atma suddha sadaya nitya sukha rupa swayam prabha. Atma is suddha, it is pure, ever pure. Sadaya nitya, it is eternal. Sukha rupa, it is the state of bliss. Swayam prabha, it is self effulgent. There is no torch needed to see fire. There is fire burning, we do not uh, try to get uh, a torch to see it because it is self effulgent. Similarly, soul is self effulgent. If we do not uh, see it or realize it, it is our fault. It is not the fault of uh, the soul. It is not the fault of uh, sun that we did not see him on cloudy days. So, similarly, cloud is here uh, nescience or agyan. And uh, if uh, self is uh, purified of these agyana, that is atma suddhi, if that is done, then everything is done. Agyanat marino bhati, gyanat suddho vibhatyayam. Because of nescience or agyana, this self becomes uh, a bit uh, dimmed, malina. Gyanat suddho vibhatyayam. When knowledge arises, then it uh, comes back to its uh, pure state, rather pure appearance. It is always pure. Only in appearance it uh, seems impure and when uh, knowledge arises that uh, appearance goes away. Agyana malapankanja khyalayate jnana toyata. So, you wash the self with the water of knowledge water of knowledge and so that agyana malapanka, the clay in the form of agyana is washed away, washed off, do it. Saeva sarvada suddho nanya karma rato hisa and in this way by wording of the agyana a person becomes suddha and no karma remains for him to do. And in this way, as we saw that uh, Nadi Sodhana is prescribed in a uh, very yogic way and uh, it is to be, it has been for thousands and thousands years, we have been practicing, our uh, yogis were practicing and definitely they have made it scientific, simply we have to follow it correctly. And they have also placed alternative, if you do not uh, uh, have faith on Nadi Sodhana, then go for Atma Suddhi. Do Atma Suddhi, self purification, then also your spiritual progress will be effective. And then uh, we are proceeding to the sixth part and it is on Pranayama. In uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutra also after Asana Pranayama is uh, described and defined. Tatoho dvandvan abhighatah in Sadhanapada Sutra number 48 it is being said that tatoho, tatoho mane asana siddhehe after perfection in the practice of asanas. Dvandva anabhighatah there are different types of dualities, dvandas, sukha dukha, sita usna, these are dvandas and a man perfecting perfect in asanas escapes these dvandas. He has neither sukha nor dukha. He feels neither hot, heat nor coldness. 
so his body and mind they get fit for all spiritual realization through asana after that the next uh, sutra describes pranayama defines pranayama in uh, patanjali shri yoga sutra tasmin sati swas praswas yor gati vichheda pranayama tasmin sati if that siddhi is there anabhighata is the dwandva anabhighata is there then swas praswas yor gati vichheda pranayama we have normal exhalation and inhalations that is normal if uh, this motion if we obstruct this motion for a particular purpose then that is called pranayama pranayama does nothing but obstructs it obstructs the natural motion of our exhalation and inhalation now the question is whatever is normal it is god given god has prescribed that we should have our nishwas and praswas why should we obstruct it if we obstruct it then it is not natural it is unnatural because what is going on is natural well that is true but uh, take an example of uh, making garden around our house if we accept that nature will take its own care all the trees will grow here and uh, then we'll enjoy our upavana then uh, to get uh, the desired tree may not be possible some trees will grow up and to your desired height they may take some 100 years to become uh, bring an upavana automatically and in the process inside your house also some trees may grow <laughs> therefore you cannot do the things like this if you want to beautify yourself your life you have to make gardening and for gardening you have to root out something you have to procure some new trees and uh, you have to cut them you have to size them and uh, uh, water them and take care of them it is the same thing we are cutting our nishwas and praswas to size to make a garden of our spirituality inside the body therefore although it is unnatural it is true suppose there will be another question it is said that everybody will once return to the god to the brahman some day one will return so why to take uh, such pranayama and all those things such spiritual exercise not necessary eat drink and uh, uh, make merry and time when time will come we all will become one with brahman this may not be possible because this will be obstructed once and again before you get uh, liberation naturally automatically there will be several pralayas deluges and in each in each pralaya you will also get extinct you will become abhyakta you will not uh, not uh, get destroyed but you will unmanifest again when you will manifest it is not your mukti going inside the pralaya is not mukti therefore again you will start from the zero beginning after pralaya when you take bath suppose like an insect then you will take uh, uh, 1000 crore of years to get human body again and again start if you give it to the nature okay let nature take its care let me get liber- liberation whenever my turn comes then uh, we cannot imagine when it comes rather you should get the signal what is the signal you have been given human body this time there are 84 lakhs of uh, animals and birds and out of that best body is human body you have got it then signal is do it in this life because next life you will get this but there is no guarantee no guarantee and therefore in this life you wish to do do some unnatural thing if you use that word unnatural thing is not a really permissible word i am using for the comfort of others who say that it is not natural then it is not uh, gardening is also natural not natural that is also unnatural No no no. We are Brahman. No. 
yes we are under the clutch of brahma and we are also coming after pralaya that is there but one who gets liberation is not under the pralaya but he's not going out he is not going to die he becomes brahman himself brahma and brahman they are different thing yes but brahman they also have oh yes brahma brahma is also like a jiva yes brahma is also like a jiva he has also death and he has also he will have also this brahma is not brahma no 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 this brahma is not brahman oh. <laughs> okay and brahma will also die brahma will also need liberation okay therefore uh, that uh, that context also will co- come afterwards hmm Okay, you see, if we go into this, we are getting distracted from the path because we need not uh, make calculation of those things for this. Actually, they, those calculation may stand right for other contexts, but not uh, for this context. Okay, and therefore, let us come to the text. And uh, yes, we are coming to the pranayama, and this is why. we need pranayama pranayama is like a gardening of our air inside movement of air inside pranayama is a gardening of air if gardening is a good thing then we should uh, follow uh, this pranayama in bhagavad gita in play, plain ways pranayama has been defined uh, tasmi uh, here in uh, sadhana pad sutra number 49 in uh, patanjali yoga sutra it is said that tasmin sati swas praswas ayur gati vichheda pranayama but bhagavad gita brings a more uh, acceptable and clearer definition and it also gives uh, uh, types three types of pranayama can be possible that also being said in bhagavad gita chapter 4 uh, verse 29 apane juhati pranam prane apana apanam tatha apare tatha pare prana pana gati rudhva प्राणायाम पारायण प्राणायाम पारायण दोज हू फॉलो द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्राणायाम फॉर सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन बिकॉज फॉर सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन देर आर मेनी मेनी वेज प्राणायाम इज द वे फॉर राज जोगीस ओके ना अपाने जुहती प्राणम संबड़ी पोर्स हिज अपान वायु अपाने जुहती प्राणम पोर्स हिज प्राण वायु अन अपान सम अदर्स अपरे for apan on prana two types and again prana pan gati rudhva pranayam parayana some yogis they obstruct the motion of both prana and apan vayu that is another type what is the meaning these are uh, things in technical words so we have to understand what exactly gita bhagavad gita is saying prana may be along with puraka means drawing in drawing in air along with puraka if there is internal kumbhaka that is the first type apane juhati pranam then along with rechaka somebody exhales and then doesn't draw but uh, maintains a kumbhaka there is nothing inside but he maintains a kumbhaka that is the seng- second type and somebody does only kumbhaka whether air is inside or outside doesn't care immediately stopped and whatever is in whatever is out doesn't matter it is stopped it is the third type so basically pranayama is of three types only kumbhaka then puraka based abhyantara kumbhaka internal kumbhaka then rechaka based external kumbhaka in this way ways pranayama can be of three types bhagavad gita says नाओ दत्तात्रेय व्हाट दत्तात्रेय सेज विल कम टू हिम प्राणायाम क्रमं बक्षे सांकृते शृणु सादरम प्राणायाम इति प्रोक्तो रेचक रेच पूर्च पूरक कुंभकैहि सो रेचक पूरक एंड कुंभक दीस थ्री टेक्निकल टर्म्स आर यूज्ड फॉर प्राणायाम ही सेज बट देयर इज आल्सो अनदर सिग्निफिकेंस इन दीस थ्री वर्णत्रयात्मका प्रोक्ता रेच पूरक कुंभका शयश प्रणव प्रोक्त प्राणायामश्च तन्मय 
Now, pranayama is connected with pranava mantra, onkara. Onkara has a conglomeration of three akharas, letters, a, u, and ma. These pranayama, the puraka, rechaka, kumbhaka are nothing but a, u, ma signified. Sayasa pranavaha praktaha pranayama chatanma. Incidentally, this second, this second mantra is found in Yogi uh, Jagya a text, Yogi Jagya chapter 6, mantra 3. There it is found. We do not know which one would be uh, older. Probably Yogi Jagya is older one. However, uh, pranayama is being connected with uh, pranava then. Idoya bayu makrusya puraitva udarasthitam sanehi sodasabhir matri akaram tatra sansmarit. Pranayama first stage. Idoya through the left nostril will draw the pranabayu inside and will fill our belly. Puraitva udaram sthitam sanehi sodasabhir matri akaram tatra sansmarit. For 16 seconds, we will have to keep it as it is and will uh, mutter akara or will remember akara because in aum first is a. Again, puritam dhayat dharayat paschat chatu sastyatu matraya. When we are drawing it, it should take uh, 16 seconds and that time we will uh, remember a. Then we will keep it as it is kumbhaka for 64 uh, uh, seconds and 64 seconds when we are keeping it in, we should uh, remember or mutter U. Ukara murti matrapi sansmaran pranavam japet. Javadva sakyate tabad barayate japatat paraha puritam rechayat paschat mokarena anilam budha. Now, Till you are not able to keep in, you keep it. Later he will say that uh, you, uh, when you leave, then you will leave for 32, within 32 seconds. But keeping, for keeping, 64 is said. But if you are not capable of keeping them for 64 seconds, then uh, as, as long as you can, you keep inside, then start uh, uh, exhaling. And when you exhale, then mokara should be remembered or uttered. Puritam rechayat paschat mokarena anilang buddha sanehi pingalaya and this extrication should be on the left nostril, right nostril because you have inhaled in the left one then you have to exhale in the right one, pingalaya. And exhalation should be done in 32 seconds. When we drew air, pranabayu, time was 16 seconds. But when we leave, it is we always desire to quickly leave it. But uh, advice is that you leave it within 32 seconds, more slowly. Pranayama bhavet esa tatas chaiva samabhyaset. So in this way, one cycle is complete and this should be practiced. Punaha pingalaya purya matri sodasabhis tatha. Again, start from the right one because we drew from left one first of all. Now we have to draw pranabayu through right one, pingala. Punaha pingalaya purjya matri sodasabhis tatha. Within 16 seconds we have to fill our belly through pingala. Akara murti matrapi smared ekagra manasa. Then akara will be remembered or uttered inside. Dharayat puritam vidwan pranabam sanjapan basi. When it is inside we have to uh, utter unkara. And ukara murti saha dhyayan chatu sastyatu matraya. Again, sen, 64, for 64 seconds, you hold it and uh, uh, mutter the ukara or remember the ukara. Makaram tu smaran paschad rechayad idoya nilam. Then through ida, left nostril, we have to uh, leave it out by uttering makara or remembering makara. And that is again for 32 seconds, within 32 seconds you should do. Eva meva punaha kuryat idya purja idoya purja buddhiman. So, this cycle should be repeated 
by the intelligent people once and again. Evam samabhyaset nityam pranayamang muniswara he muniswara sankrute. In this way pranayama should be practiced every day. Evam abhyasato nityam san masad gyanavan bhavet. There are many instances in Upanishad that even without learning Veda, one is proficient in the knowledge of Veda. The instances like Swetaketu and many are there. Guru says you go, go with cows and come when these uh, 10 cows become 1000. And after so many years he comes. His other friends who are envious of his knowledge, now they are happy that we have remembered all Vedic uh, lores and uh, this fellow went with cows. But when he comes, they find that uh, his face is dazzling with Vedic knowledge. And they are poor clamors. They got by heart all mantras, but he knows the meanings of mantras. Mantra word by word he may not be knowing, but whatever is there in Veda, he knows it. How was it possible? It is possible, they say, that it is possible through pranayama and all these sadhanas. You need not know the text, but whatever is there inside the text, you know it. Then what is the necessity of text, if you know the knowledge? That is being said here. Evam abhyasato nityam sanmasat gyanavan bhavet basrat brahma vidvan syat tasmad nityam samabhyasat. In one year, one becomes brahmavit. And as we know, our tradition says, brahmavit brahma eva bhavati. One who is the knower of brahman becomes the brahman himself. Yoga abhyasa, yoga abhyasa rato nityam swadharma niratascha jaha. Prana Sanja Mane Neva Gyanan Mukto Bhavishyati. Nama Yoga Bhyasa Rato Nityam Swadharma Niratas Chaja. Here Dharma is not a religion, one who is intent upon his duty. That person, Swadharma Nirata person, and uh, who is pursuing the practice of yoga, Prana Sanja Mane Neva by regulating the prana, jnanat mukto bhavishyati, jnana karanat, he will be free from jnana. Why? Because jnana is the most pure thing in this world. Nahi jnana na sadrusam pavitram iha vidyate, we all know it in Bhagavad Gita, it is there. Therefore, jnana is very much necessary for yogis and these yogis will get this jnana through prana sanjavana. Purakana de Chaka. No, in the, in the beginning of the cycle, you take uh, Puraka through Ida, left nostril, and leave out in the right nostril, Pingala. Again, the other way round. Through Pingala, you draw in and leave it in Puraka you do through Pingala and leave it out through Ida. So, not the same one. Ah, yeah. hmm. Bahyad Apuranam Bayo Udare Purako Hisa. What was the first one? Prana Sanja Mane Neva Gyanan Mukto Bhavishyati. Bahyat apuranam bayo udare puraka hisa. What is puraka? If we take air from outside and fill the belly, that is called puraka. Sampurna kumbhaka, sampurna kumbhavad bayo dharanam kumbhako bhavet kumbhavad, like a pitcher or uh, uh, kalasa. If we keep the air inside, if we store the air inside for some time, that is called Kumbhaka. Bahir virechanam bayoha udarat rechaka smutaha. When from belly we extricate all the uh, air outside, that is called rechaka. Means uh, he used uh, re, puraka, rechaka, kumbhaka first and finally explains that these three words mean that we all know it. Now pranayama siddhi. What are the siddhis? How can we know that uh, we have got perfection in pranayama? Means good result of pranayama. What are the good results of pranayama? How can we know 
strange uh, signs are there. What are the signs of uh, perfection in par pranayama? Prasveda janako yastu pranayamesu sodhamah kampanang madhyamam vidyat uthanam chuttamang viduhu. First, if there is sweating, perspiration is there, then uh, it is a sign of the perfection of pranayama, but it is the adhama sign. So, crudest uh, sign you can say. Kampanang madhyamam, if there is uh, some tremor, trembling in the body, that is also a sign of uh, the positive result of pranayama, but then it is madhyama, it is a middle range success, not the full success. Uthamam chuttamam viduhu, when the body gets lifted, that is the final and the best sign of the perfection of pranayama. Now, have you ever experienced this? Body gets, gets lifted from the, it gets, uh, uh, means, uh, song in the air. We just uh, get up from the uh, floor and uh, float in the air, floating in the air. You know, this is not uh, actually an unreal thing. Uh, Lahiri Mahasaya, who is a great soul, a realized soul uh, of Bengal, when he was practicing, he has uh, a, a, a great tradition of Kriya Yoga. Nowadays, Kriya Yoga tradition is there. He, is, he was in the beginning, um, uh, beginning phase. Babaji Maharaj, uh, who is uh, believed to be uh, still living in Himalaya, uh, uh, he is the real pioneer of this Kriya Yoga system. And uh, in that stream, Lahiri Mahasaya came and he was practicing as per the instruction of his uh, teacher. And his wife was always scolding him, uh, why do you do all these things? What is the necessity of this? What result do you get doing it every day, every morning? Rather do some household work, that kind of, that kind of scolding he was getting. But one day <coughs> in the morning, he, she went with a broom to sweep his house where Lahiri Mahasa live in that room and he found that he is floating in air. <laughs> then he is simply sastanga pranibhata, she made, I misunderstood you, you are Bhagavan, I didn't, didn't know, my Swami is a Bhagavan and all that. Then he came down, told her you don't tell, to, tell this to anybody else. But gradually things came to uh, light, people could know, know that he is a Mahapurusha. In my village, I have seen a person. That time I was a child, so I couldn't uh, pursue him. Uh, he will go to the pond and on water he will sleep, as if he is uh, sleeping on a bed. He will sleep for one and two hours and all others will come, take bath and see him and go away. Because it is a natural sin to, sin to them. And this he was doing through pranayama. He, he will not get drowned, he will float uh, in water. Uh, anybody can do if pranayama is perfected. No, in, in, in uh, sleeping in water is possible. Anybody can do it. Hmm. But uh, how can we do unless uh, some pranayama tactics is known? I can do. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then nice. <laughs> then you are a yogi. I am not in yogi, but I can relax. Uh, this must will be shown. No, is it is it a swimming type? You are staying static, but uh, but uh, fluttering your palms inside the water no. to keep your body static. Then it is a different thing. But if you can do it, then uh, it is a perfection in prana prana No problem. Sir, I would say connection between yoga energy and very much. Yoga and same stream, same, same stream. Uh, um, uh, he is uh, autobiography of yogi. Yeah. So yoga and Paramahamsa. Yes. He may be sir. Hmm. But there he has spotted the uh, Mary Market. Yes. So there His Guru's Guru. His Guru, sir. Yeah. Hmm. His Guru's name uh, Shyamacharan Lahiri. Tar, uh, some person is inside. His ashram is there in Puri, Odisha. His Guru's ashram is there in Puri in, near Swargadwara. His Guru is Lahiri Master. Now, Kampanang Madhyamam Vidyad Uthanam Chottamang Viduhu. And again, uh, another system is there. 
um, Mahesh Jogis, they also practice this pranayama and small children also float in air. I have come to know, but I have not seen in my eyes and this is also possible. This is not a miracle. We can do it uh, and know that pranayama is coming to perfection through from this science. This science. Mahesh Hmm. Took uh, yogas to America and all. Uh, mainly Holland is the headquarters and he has spread it. Yeah, that Martin is. Uh, yeah, yeah. Holland is their headquarters. Hmm? Holland. In, in Holland. Netherlands, yeah. yes. That is the headquarters and uh, through that they spread different places. Uh, however, Purba Purbam Prakurbita Javad Uthana Sambhava. It is being advised that stage by stage, Purba Purbam. Stage by, don't be in a hurry. Stage by stage, you should practice Javad Uthana Sambhava till you get lifted from the floor. Sambhavati Uttame Pragyaha Pranayame Sukhi Bhavet. This is Sambhava, Sambhavati Uttame. Uttame Sambhavati, it is Bhave Saptami, means Uttama uh, sign, when it comes out, Uttama sign is getting lifted. When it becomes possible, then pragyaha pranayame sukhi bhavet. Then the person, intelligent person who is pursuing pranayama will be happy through pranayama. Pranayame na chittam tu suddham bhavati subrata. Chitta suddhi, you get a purity of mind, mental purification is uh, occurring. Chitte suddhe suchihi sakhyat pratyak jyotir vyavasita. Now, if uh, mind is purified, then Pratyak Jyoti itself becomes Sakhyat, means you get a Sakhyatkar of your own soul. Pratyak Jyoti means eternal, internal, internal light, Pratyak Jyoti, internal light comes out to give you the sin, the Sakhyatkar. So, you can see your own soul standing outside as a light. So, Pratyak Jyoti Vyavasthita. Pranas chittena sanjuktaha paramatmani tishthati pranayama parasyasya purusasya mahatmanaha. Pranaha chittena sanjuktaha paramatmani tishthati. Pranaha, this prana gets connected with chitta and exists in paramatma. Connected, gets connected with paramatma. Pranayama parasyasya purusasya mahatmanaha. Whose it is possible? Now the purusa a Mahatma Purusa, a good human being who is pranayama para, who is practicing pranayama. The good person who is practicing pranayama will get connected to Paramatma through chitta and prana. That is being said, pranaha chittena sanjukta paramatmani tishthati. His prana exists, gets connected with Paramatma through chitta. Dehas chitto dehas cha uttishthate tena kinchit gyanad vimuktata rechakam purakam muktva kumbhakam nityam abhyasyat. Now, dehas cha uttishthate tena body gets lifted kinchit gyanad vimuktata. Now, even from slight realization, body will uh, design will be emanated, will be found by like lifting of the body. Kinchit Jnana Dvimuktata, if he gets the uh, knowledge of this uh, pranayama, slightest knowledge of this pranayama, the success of the pranayama or the process of the pranayama, then also he can get realization. Rechakam Purakam Muktva Kumbhakam nityam abhyaset. At that stage, our rechaka, now rechaka and puraka are not necessary. Only kumbhaka will do. When in the process of practicing pranayama, he has got this, his body lifted automatically, then he can know that now rechaka and puraka, they are not necessary. Only kumbhaka will do. Then he can practice kumbhaka only. The third type which Bhagavad Gita told. Sarvapapa vinir mukta. Sarvagya jnanam apnuyat, mano jabattam apnuti, palitadi cha nasyati. Now, more signs of the success of pranayama. Sarva papa vinirmukta, he gets uh, uh, free from all those uh, sins he has committed earlier. Samyagyanam apnuyat, the right knowledge he gets 
and mono jabatum apnoti mind gets capacity to adapt with all incidents and uh, all knowledge to understand that is mono jabata java means speed that means uh, uh, capacity mono gets a capacity to adapt with all knowledge and all types of knowledge and all, all types of yogic practices palitadicha nasyati now palita means uh, graying of hair so graying graying of hair now turn off gradually hair becomes black my if i practice then my hair will be black <laughs> pranayamika nishthasya na kinchid api durlabham nothing is just uh, unavailable for a person who is uh, practicing pranayam tasmat sarva prajatnena pranayaman samabhyased therefore by all means one should practice pranayam we are coming to the end uh, just some uh, mantras are there oh no ha yes now roga nivartaka pranayama bheda for curing the diseases there are many vedic mantras prescribed in puranas many puranas prescribe for this disease utter this mantra this disease utter this mantra but nowadays this is uh, we cannot get fruit from that process because we cannot utter the vedic mantras with correct accent therefore word effect will not be there and therefore we cannot get the effect rather we can pursue some pranayamas to fight out some diseases and that uh, phase has come we have to see what is being written here bini yogan pravakshami pranayamasya subratah biniyoga means uses uses i am telling the usages of pranayama utility of pranayama sandhyayo brahma kalepi madhyanne chathava sada any time you can practice it sandhya brahma kal and midday also or any time you find it convenient bahyam pranam samakrusya puraitu darayana cha नासाग्रे नाभे मध्ये च पादांगुष्ठे च धारणात बट दिस इज टू बी लर्न फ्रॉम द एक्सपीरियंस्ड पर्सन हाउ कैन यू फिक्स युअर वी कैन फील आवर बेली थ्रू प्राणवायु बट वी डू नॉट नो हाउ टू टेक दैट वायु टिल द बिग टो ऑफ आवर लेफ्ट और राइट लेग दैट वी डू नॉट नो ओनली योगीस नो एंड दैट प्रैक्टिस और प्रैक्टिस वी हैव टू लर्न नासाग्रे नाभि मध्य च पादांगुष्ठे च धारणा इफ वी कीप इट प्राणवायु इन दोज प्लेसेस सर्वरोग विनिर्मुक्त जीवेद वर्ष शतम नर देन मैन लिव्स फॉर हंड्रेड इयर्स विदाउट एनी डिजीज नासाग्र धारणा बापी जेतो भवती सुव्रत इफ समबडी होल्ड्स द प्राणवायु ऑन द टिप ऑफ नोज देन ही बिकम्स ए कंट्रोलर ऑफ प्राण जीतो भवति सुव्रत प्राणवायु जीतो भवति इत्यर्थ सर्वरोग निवृत्ति सैत नाभि मध्य तो धारणा इफ यू कैन होल्ड इट इन नाभि नाभल एरिया देन ऑल डिजीजेस विल गो अवे शरीर लघुता विप्र पादांगुष्ठ निरोधनात इफ यू होल्ड इट नियर द बिग टू ऑफ लेग देन शरीर लघुता भवति वी गेट आवर वेट सेकेंड ऑफ आवर वेट बिकम्स लेस जी होया वायु मकृश्य ज पीभेद सततम नर इट इज इजी दिस इज भेरी इजी जी होया वायु मकृश्य ज पीभेद सततम नर श्रमदा विनिर्मुक्त योगी निरोगताम यात देन ही इज ही गेट्स फ्री फ्रॉम श्रम फैटिक एंड दाह हिट फीलिंग ऑफ हिट both these two things go and uh, he also gets uh, nirogata free from diseases jihoya bahum akrusya jiha mule nirodhayet if that uh, uh, air drawn by the tongue is kept inside the under the tongue then pibet amrutam abhyagram sakalam sukham apnuyat then uh, gradually some amruta kharana will be there some dripping of amruta amrosia drops 
will occur and uh, so, uh, abhyagram, abhyagram that means gradually not in a hurry without any hurry you should drink that uh, uh, those drops of uh, ambrosia or nectar then you will get uh, permanent happiness sukham apnuyat iroya bayu makrusya bhruvor madhye nirodhayat if you draw pranabayu through ida that is left nostril and uh, store it between two eyebrows jaha pibet amrutam suddham vyadhi bhi muchyate hi sah who can do it he will get rid of all diseases and uh, amruta suddha amruta nectar he will be getting idaya ved tattvagya tatha pingala evacha nabho nirodhayet tena vyadhibir muchyate nara whether bhaya ida or bhaya pingala if the pranavayu is drawn and put in navi then all diseases go away masa matram trisandhayam jihoya aropya marutam amrutam cha piben nabhu mandang mandam nirodhayet now for one month one can practice this every trisandhya means morning midday and uh, uh, evening jihoya aropya marutam storing the air under uh, tongue and uh, drinking the uh, nectar and that time nabhu mandam mandam nirodhay that time you try to store that air from the tongue in the navi gradually batajah pitaja dosha nasyante eva nasanshaya nasabhyam vayu makrusya netra dvande nirodhay and uh, uh, the first pada is connected to the previous verse if we store the air from the tongue from under the tongue to the navel area in the navel area then all diseases of bato and pitta air and acid or uh, wind or bile they all go away nasabhyam vayu makrusya netra dvande nirodhayet if we draw the air by both the nostrils and put them in our eyes then netra roga vinasyanti tatha srotra nirodhanat and under the guidance we cannot do it ha huh. it is not possible without guidance it is not possible netra roga vinasyanti tatha srotra nirodhanat similarly if we draw air by both the nostrils and put in both ears then the diseases of ear will also go away tatha vayu samaropya dharet sirasi sthitam sirarogah vinasyanti satya muktam hi sankrute similarly when uh, air is drawn and it is put in the head then all diseases of head that is brain go away then another phase comes sarmukhi mudra भ्यासदिना भ्यासदिना वायु जय ना ए डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ अभ्यास सो दैट वी कैन कंट्रोल द एयर स्वस्तिका सनम आस्थाय समाहित मनास तथा वी हैव टू सीट इन स्वस्तिका आसन दैट वाज द फर्स्ट आसन दैट वी डिस्कस दैट डे फर्स्ट आसन वाज स्वस्तिका आसन वी हैव टू सीट इन स्वस्तिका आसन देन समाहित we have to be in meditation apanam urdham utthapya pranavena sanai sanai we have to draw apan because it in the lower position of the body uh, apan vayu we have to draw it up gradually sanai sanai hastabhyam dharayet samyak karnadi karnani cha so we have to hold it in the hand by using Uh, the hand on uh, our sense organs that are found in our uh, near our face karnadi karnani cha karna means indriya karna etc are there as indriyas in face we have to use our hand to block them so that that bayu will be blocked there angustabhyang mune srotre tarjani bhyam tu chakhyusi 
so here just as brahmari we practice that they advise it is like this so by angustha we close our uh, ear and parjani etc the eyes in this way we have to do it angustha bhang mune srote tarjani bhang tu chakhyusi nasa puta puta अथा न्याभ्याम प्रछाद्य करणा निभाई सो नासा पुटो बाई अधर फिंगर्स इफ वी कभर अल दीज इंद्रियस सेंस अर्गांस देन आनंदावीर भावो भावे जावद तावन मुर्धनी धार येथ होल्ड दिस एयार इन सेरेब्रम टिल यू गेट ए प्लीजिंग सेंसाशन now, the Brahmarandra is uh, referred to earlier, the Krivis of Brahma. Brahmarandra will be tossed by this prana and a, because Brahma is the state of bliss, seat of bliss and when this air touches that randra, a special kind of pleasing sensation will come and uh, we have to uh, wait till then. Then Brahmarandram gate bayu. Nadascha utpadyate anagha. He anagha, he nispapo, he sinless, o sinless uh, sankrite. When Vayu enters the Brahmarandra, then a special kind of sound is also heard. Brahmarandram gate Vayu nadascha utpadyate anagha. What is this nada? How is this nada? Sankhadhvani. A sound of a conch cell. Sankhadhvani. Nivas chadu, Sankadhvani niva, like the Sankadhvani. Madhye Meghadhvani stada, sometimes thunder of clouds will also be heard. Siro madhya gate bayu, giri prasravanam jatha. These are experiences, these are not uh, imaginations. When the bayu enters to the middle lobe of the brain, then uh, there will be a sound, gurgling sound of a uh, hilly spring of a hilly stream, that kind of sound uh, will occur, giri prasravanam jatha. Paschat prito maha pragya sakhyad atman atman mukho bhavet. Then after that, getting extremely blissed, pleased, sakhyad atman mukho bhavet. There will be atma sakhyadkar and he will meet his own soul there or the Brahman that way. Punaha tadgyana nispatti ir yoga ta sansara ninhuti hi. When that atmagyana will occur, nispatti means production, let us say, in Sahitya Sastra, nispatti is first uh, interpreted as uh, production. So, if that knowledge is produced through this exercise or pranayama, then sansara ninhuti, disappearance of uh, sansara occurs. Means uh, there will be no next birth and this sansara, this world will not be effective on the practitioner. Dakhinottara gulphena sivining pidayet sthiram. Then uh, uh, another kind of uh, uh, yogic uh, exercise is being prescribed. Dakhinottara gulphena sivining pidayet sthiram. Sivini is a portion between genital and anus, that is uh, Sivini is a nadi actually, uh, placed in that portion and it is to be pressed by Dakhinottara Gulpha, the left, uh, uh, the left lobe of the right ankle, this is the right ankle and left lobe is this, by this uh, Dakhinottara or oh, left one, left ankle, this one should press upon this. Uh, Dakhinottara, uh, a printing mistake is there, Dakhinottara is there, that is why I stumbled here, Dakhinottara it should be, Dakhinottara gulphena means uh, by left ankle, Sivinim pirayat sthiram, Sabyatara na gulphena, Sabyatara means uh, right gulpha, right ankle, by right ankle uh, he has to again press Jano Radha, the uh, area under our uh, needs. This area is to be pressed, this area. Jano Radha, Sthitam Sandhim, Smutva Devam Triyambakam. So, uh, remembering or uh, uh, visualizing 
the Triambaka Shiva three eyed Simba that time we should uh, uh, conduct this exercise for ourselves. Then Binayakam cha Sansmutya Tatha Bhagi Swaring Punaha Linganala Samakrusya Bayum Api Agrato Munehe Taking air from the area of your genital of Pranavena Nijuktena Bindu Juktena Buddhiman Mula Dharasya Biprendra Madhya Tamtu Nirodhayat. So uh, in, uh, in the middle of Muladhara, you should uh, uh, play, press it, place it, that bayu. This is Apana bayu, not Prana bayu. Niruddha bayuna dipto banhi ruhyati kundalim. So, by this, touch of this Apana bayu, there a fire flares up, and uh, kundali is flare up, flared up. Punaha susumnaya bayu banhina sahagachati. Then Susumnaya, taking the help of uh, medium of uh, Susumna Nadi, Bayu Bonhina Saha Gachati, the air goes along with the fire, upward. Ebam Abhyasata Tasya Jito Bayu Bhavet Bhusam. Uh, all these are uh, quite uh, yogic uh, practice and Kundalini sadhana. Ordinarily, from the book itself, we should not practice and cannot practice also. But uh, under the guidance of uh, experienced uh, uh, yogis, we can uh, do them. But uh, for realization of uh, the self, these are very much uh, important. We should do it. Uh, let us hope that uh, we are going towards the end. Let us hope we can uh, complete it. Prasveda Pratama Prathama Paschat Nama Bayu Jaya Chinnani. How can we know that we control the inner Bayu inside us? Prasveda Prathama Paschat, first of all, sweating, Kampanang Munipungava, then there will be trembling. Uthanam cha sarirasya chinnam etad jite anile. When anil or air is controlled, these are the three signs that we have already uh, crossed. Now, bayu jayana roga papa binasa vairagya purbika gyanat patti. We will read it afterwards then. Okay. Up to 43 uh, we covered, but uh, this, there are 51 uh, mantras here and we will do it tomorrow. Tomorrow let us hope that we will get uh, some more time.